There was meant to be a flash. Oh, there was a flash. I probably have like a triple chin. <laughs> no, you just look a little bit confused. <laughs> Hello and welcome to a sleepy podcast. Um, are we going? We are. I was going to get a picture for Twitter. Hold on. Oh, it's okay. Look, we can take a picture and be like, yeah, we're actually recording. Just the phone should be in between us. Okay. For the photo. There, go. Cheese it. Go. Did it work? Did it kind of work? <laughs> I'm so bad at this, but also, you have a concentration face. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay. Right. Is it the right way? Yeah. Do I have to turn on flash or anything? No. Okay, right. See, now you've cut yourself out of it. We need to move closer together. Okay, right. See, now you've cut yourself out of it again. Right. This is real interesting for the <laughs> listeners, isn't it? That kind of worked. Okay, hello and welcome to a podcast um, where we're currently lying in a bed. Last time we did this, we were kind of half asleep. And we were just, we got really distracted. Is that the one whenever I started talking about a sleepy bony sea pony? Yeah, no, it wasn't. No, no. it wasn't. That, that was, was whenever one. we were sober. <laughs> <laughs> we're not drunk, guys. We're just drunk on lack of sleep. Um, please do tweet us at skit underscore twins. Let us know what you're up to. Are you suffering from lack of sleep? Maybe you're listening to this to go to sleep, in which case, wake up! Wake up! I have a real good question. What's your question? Um, my question is... Right, so ambulances are no longer allowed to use the knee gnaw sound. Why? They have to use a song. What Why? song do you pick? Oh, right, this is a hypothetical question. Yeah. I thought this was like a... <laughs> Breaking news. Yeah. <laughs> um... I don't know. It would have to be a loud song. One that catches people's attention straight away. Uh-huh. Um, so you can't choose one that, uh, I mean, you could do Highway to Hell. That'd be cruel, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. let's not do that one. I thought um, you were going to say you could do the ice cream truck sign. You could do the Doctor Who theme tune, because... I suppose nobody would be expecting The that, Doctor right? is coming. I mean, I was going to go with, like, either Wake Me Up Before You Go Go, or <laughs> I'm a Survivor. <laughs> I'm a survivor would be a good one, yeah. I'm a survivor, that one. Yeah. Or else, um, staying alive. Staying alive would also be a good one. You've clearly thought about this far more than me. I, I have, yeah. Just sort of winged it. You know, we should, you should, if you're looking for questions, if we want, like, questions that we want to answer, we could just piggyback on the Dear Hank and John hashtag. What's the Dear Hank and John? Is it just hashtag Dear Hank and John? Yeah. Right, I will go on to that. Highly recommend that podcast, by the way. That and Simon Mayo's Confessions podcast, which is no longer going, but like you can Good listen podcast. to the old ones. Um, another question that I found on the internet, I searched the stupidest questions, and this one was particularly funny, and it was, can I boil headphones to cleanse them of bad music? Oh. Oh. Um, that's not, that's not how it works. <laughs> that's just, okay. But it's like a whole story about how, like, their brother was, like, listened to, like, heavy metal, and they didn't like that music, and they were like, I need to cleanse the earphones, because that music's nasty. And it was just kind of like, okay, bro, you try that, and get back to me. It's kind of like one of those things where, like, it's like a picture on... Maybe it's like a screenshot of a tweet or a Facebook post or something. And it's like a phone put in the microwave and it's like, Someone told me that you can microwave your phone to charge it. My phone battery was getting pretty low and I didn't have a charger. So I put it in the microwave. And this happened. Yeah. And then also the one, and it's like, Someone told me if you put sand sandpaper on your windscreen wipers, it de-iced the car. Oh, there's things like that. And I'm like, why would you? <laughs> in what world? <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't actually find any questions on this. Oh, okay. Are you looking at top things or most recent? Latest. Oh, okay. Um, it's mostly people saying, I'm listening to hashtag Dear Hank and John. It's like, oh, cool, okay. 
Um, and a lot of people being like, hey, there's no podcast today from two weeks ago. Um, um, yeah. Oh, they actually, they have a Twitter account. For, there's a Dear Hank and John Twitter account. I did not know that. I did not know that either. Um, We bathed our dog today. Or one of our dogs. We bathed Susan. Not Susan that listens to the podcast. Although maybe dog Susan listens to the podcast and like she just doesn't tell us. Yeah. You know? Like maybe she has a phone that works with that has like paw print recognition. That'd be so weird. Imagine dogs with phones. I suppose that's kind of paw patrol, isn't it? But it's a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm sorry, you're just talking about paw patrol all of a sudden. Paw Patrol, I've never actually... No, I think I have watched it. Yeah, we watched a couple of episodes while Baby something. Yeah. I wasn't all that into it. It just reminded me of... What do you call the one? Krypton. Crypto? Crypto, the super dog! Yeah, it just reminded me of that. And I the never Crypto liked that. The super dog's basically just the dog version of Superman. Yeah. Or is it Krypton? No, it's not Krypton. Because he's called Crypto because he got infected by Krypton. And that made him super magical. Oh, is that the story? I think so. I think you could be right. And then he has super strength and he could fly in space and stuff. But how did the other dogs get their powers? Do they have powers? I think they're kind of like space dogs. Space dogs. Because they were weird colours. Yeah. I think... Yeah. Bound to be something like that. It's a cartoon, so it's not really that important. (laughs) I'm intrigued, though. I want to know the history of these dogs. What else has been going on in our lives? We were really tired this week and we're also having a nap because we were babysitting until about 2am. Uh, but we still went to church because... Remember on Sunday and church. We love the Lord. We watched My Girl with our four girls last night at babysitting. I forgot that they said bad words in it. Yeah. I also forgot how sad it was, although maybe it's because I'm older now that I understand why it's sad. Yeah. Because, like, I watched my... Like, we watched My Girl whenever we were, like... I'd say six or seven. Six or seven, yeah. And, like, yeah, it was sad whenever... Spoiler alert! (laughs) The wee boy dies. Um, But, yeah, like... We we started watching it, and then I sort of turned to Judith, and I was like, is this really... Before bed? Is this a good idea? And then you started cracking jokes while I was trying not to cry. Didn't appreciate it. (laughs) I was... (laughs) I was trying to lighten the mood because I was I was genuinely terrified. Hannah was so enthralled by it. She didn't yeah. say a word the whole way through. I was, yeah, but Hannah's old enough to sort of understand it, I think. Yeah. And so Grace is able to understand most of it, but then just... I laugh at Grace because anytime anyone kisses on TV or in movies, she's like, Ugh! and then she giggles and it's like, you're not actually grossed out. <laughs> you're loving this. <laughs> um, but yeah, the younger two... You, I don't think they fully understood it and it was kind of like I was cracking jokes because I was like if they get sad and start crying they're gonna instantly want their parents yeah and I'm honestly not gonna be able to deal with that can you hear the phone ringing listeners I hope they can it doesn't matter whether or not you can or not because I'm not gonna answer it it's okay mum's downstairs Um, she has answered it she's going to answer it it's not for me anyway it's never for us it's never for me um this is the moment where we get shouted downstairs down. Um, oh, that would be really sad. Chloe has her Christmas lights on around her room. And I suppose they're not really Christmas lights because it's not like they're on a Christmas tree. Or yeah, they're just is that not a thing? Fairy LED lights. They're just LED lights. Yeah. Or are they fairy LED lights? They're just LED lights, twinkle so lights. are they only Christmas lights if they are used specifically for a Christmas tree or the outside of your house? I think so. Okay. I think sort of initially, like, all kind of string lights were Christmas lights. But now, sort of recently, it's become a thing where you use, like, string lights just as standard decoration in a bedroom or whatever. Yeah. I mean, they are cool and they do look nice as a decoration. So I understand why people do it. I myself do it. Do you want um, some life advice? Yeah, my life advice is if you're cutting your, if you're trimming your fingernails, don't cut the skin beside the nail because it's really sore. What's your life advice? If you swallow chewing gum, it um, 
It gives your intestines some chewy, minty goodness. I thought that was genuinely going to be a fact. Like, you know the way people used to say, if you swallow chewing gum, it stays, it stays inside yeah. you? I thought you were going to say, it like it's actually good for your bowels or something. Also, if you let others make decisions, you can't be culpable. Is culpable the right word? You can't be blamed, yeah, basically. Yeah, when things go wrong. That's why I don't like making decisions. But yeah. That's, yeah. I'm really bad at making decisions. You are. Thanks. I mean, like, I'd try and back you up, but just... Or, like, defend that. But no, I can't, because you're rubbish. <laughs> I blame years of being called bossy. I mean, you still are bossy sometimes, but like whenever it comes to like, you're bossy whenever you're not being asked a question, if that makes sense. If I put a question to you that you need to answer, then you can't make a decision. But if you know what you want, you're real bossy. If I ask me a question, I'll show you I can make a decision. What's your favourite colour? Oh, flip, that's a hard <laughs> one. <laughs> no, it's blue. I always go for blue in BuzzFeed quizzes. So What's your favourite cereal? Cocoa Pops, but not Cocoa Pops, Tesco Choco Snaps. Sponsor me. What about Asda? I mean, they're okay, but it goes Tesco, Lidl. Have I ever tried the Asda ones? I don't think I have. Okay, right, we're going to Asda. <laughs> but also, I think the best Cocoa Pops to have dry are the actual Kellogg's ones. You know what but I they're not as nice in milk. Sainsbury's has a new cereal out, and I think it's kind of like Nesquik. But then, like, white chocolate nest look like, too. What? It's like... Oh, is this the Christmas tree one? Yeah. I want to go to Sainsbury's. Yeah, we should go to Christmas at some point, this Sainsbury's. Yeah. I think next Sunday we're going to do our... <gasps> our are we? Home. I have decided that it's been done. Okay. <laughs> Whether or not parents are, you know, accepting of that. Because it was this day last year that we did it. No, it was we a couple of days to... ago. No, it was the 10th of... I have it. I said, let it be known. That on the 10th of November 2018, Christmas began in the Macomb household. You have really nice biceps. Thank you. I think my triceps are actually better, but my biceps are... Oh, your hands are cold. Sorry. Listeners, if you have cold hands right now, go up to someone and just touch their cheek. Or, like, put your hand down their back. <gasps> That's really cool. Especially. Don't do it to a stranger. I was going to say, especially if it's a stranger, it'd be so weird if you just walked up to someone and just went, hey. Uh, I think I'd probably cry if a stranger yeah. did that to me. There was a bird in church today and I was aware of it being like flying around but then it flew past me and I jumped the height of myself and I think the whole congregation saw like nobody said anything to me but I I, I could feel them judging me. <laughs> <laughs> they were looking at me going, you fell asleep during the sermon and I didn't. I just sort of, I'm very still in the sermon and then that's why like a lot of the time I try to sort of look around every so often just to be like, yeah, I'm not sleeping and then I overthink that and then I'm like, they think I'm looking around because I just like woke up from a wee nap and I'm trying to I'm trying to gauge the situation here as to whether or not the sermon's nearly over. <laughs> yeah, you definitely <laughs> overthink that. I overthink things. I noticed the bird. I, I saw I was like staring I, at I the noticed side it cause I and heard... it flew past and I thought I had imagined it and then the next thing it landed on the music stand across from me and I was like, am I? I kind of looked at you and then I looked at mum and I was like, am I definitely seeing this? Is the, this the minister mentioned it? For I real? didn't. I, he just said our little friend, and yeah. I was kind of like, I thought it was a bat. And I, could, <laughs> I thought he meant like a child running around. Yeah, no, I thought that too, and then I saw it like flying, and all I could think of was, it's a bat. <laughs> catch it, catch, catch it, it, Terry, <laughs> Terry, catch it. Hold on, I'm gonna have to find a link to that to put on uh, <laughs> YouTube. Tag Fleming. Um, Get a towel. Down. That's good. Bigger towel. Oh, he's, just making a the door. <laughs> he's making a mockery out of you. <laughs> uh, I'm going to share this on... How do you spell his name? T-A-I... Tadug. Tadug. I'll find it. Tadug. I spelled it right. Uh, let's see, I need to find the bat. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it, that's what it reminded me of. And I was sitting there and... The sermon wasn't overly, like, sad, if that makes sense. Like, it wasn't an overly serious sermon, but it's not one of those sermons that you'd be sitting grinning at. Yeah. 
Um, and then because it's Remembrance Sunday at the end, we sang uh, God Save the Queen. And uh, number one, I got all the words right. I think I did anyway. I did. I did get the, the words right. Um, I'm very proud. But whenever it goes into the wee crescendo near the end and it goes <laughs> do 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 sun the do 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 I always sing that whenever I'm singing it on my own like yeah. I, I'm not like a pure royalist and sing it like all the time but like anytime I do sing it like or like hum it to myself I enjoy that bit yeah and then I remembered whenever we were singing it in church that you don't sing that bit <laughs> it's just the organ that does that bit <laughs> and it was really sad but I just I was singing and I was just smiling away to myself going do 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 sad. <laughs> <laughs> Funny because I did that. Um, I did that too. Like inwardly, I just kind of went do 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 sand. <laughs> then I was smiling away to myself because I was like, I normally sing that but <laughs> And guys, we're in the choir so we're standing right in front. Like everybody can see us. Like the whole 20 people of the congregation the whole 20. <laughs> So have we got any Twitter questions? We have. Fantastic. Uh, I'm just, I'm I'm sending this thing. No Robins were harmed in the making of church today. We have three questions today. This is great. We are so We're 90% close. sure we got the Robin out at the end of the service. Do you have you even listened to what I'm saying? I am, you, yeah. You, you were asking me. my questions, sorry. I know, but then I was talking about the Robin again. I have an Uncle Robin. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have left the robin in the church in case it hurt itself or dirtied on things. Or like... Imagine it dirtied on like the minister's chair or something. That'd be wild embarrassing. It would be. Especially considering that we will be sitting in the minister's chair next week. Oh yeah, we might have a special (gasps) podcast of just the South Africa talk thing that we're we're doing next Sunday in church. Yeah, if you're keen for that. Um, Drop us a comment or um, tell us if you want to. Or an email. At skit underscore twins or skit dot twins at gmail dot com. Our first question is from Amber. Amber, who's Amber? I tried to say Andrew Barker at the same time and went with Amber. Okay, Amber, this is your new name. <laughs> can, you reply, and- can you reply? Can you reply? Can you reply and just be like, "Thank you, Amber." <laughs> Thank. I'll just say thanks. Your new name is Amber. <laughs> What's the question? Um. So, who's better, Lewis Capaldi or Ed Sheeran? I don't know why, but for a second there, I thought he was asking the difference between Peter Capaldi. I thought of that immediately too, the doctor. (laughs) It's like, obviously Peter Capaldi, the doctor beats anything. It's kind of like, in what way are we comparing these guys here? (laughs) Because they're great for two different things. But yeah, Lewis Capaldi or Ed Sheeran? Um, I think Ed Sheeran's the type of guy that you bring home and show your parents. <laughs> Where's Lewis Capaldi? I Mom think... always approved of Ed Sheeran apart from his tattoos, and I don't think Lewis Capaldi has tattoos. I know, but Lewis Capal- Capaldi's quite sweary. He is a bit, yeah. I think Lewis Capaldi would be really good crack, though. Yeah. I'm going to say, in in terms of banter, Lewis Capaldi, but in terms of would your parents like him, Ed Sheeran? What about, what about singing? Musical, music-wise? Oh, uh, both of them. They both sort of have the same sort of style, really. I was going to say they're both very different. Ed Sheeran has quite a soft voice, whereas Lewis Capaldi is very... Not in some of his <laughs> older music. In some of his older music, he had sort of a very, like... <laughs> <laughs> if you think about Castle on the Hill, it has quite a sort of, like, a rough part to it. Yeah. I like them both in different ways. Yeah. And I know that's a very diplomatic answer, but it's the truth. I couldn't pick between them. I think I'd say, mm, see, Ed Sheeran hasn't put out stuff in a while. Yeah. No, to be fair, I haven't liked, there's a couple of his newer pieces, like his collabs with people that I haven't particularly liked. Yeah. But then again, there's some of Lewis Capaldi's stuff that I'm kind of like, eh. Yeah. There's bits that you like and bits that you don't. Yeah. Ed Sheeran, I know more of his music. Yeah than I do of Lewis Capaldi and I know not in a stalkery <laughs> way but I know more about him no sorry I was just thinking of we were doing circuits in the gym and Lewis Capaldi came on when we were doing wall sits and we were just singing away to <laughs> we must have looked so weird <laughs> it's only just occurred to me that we must have looked like such weirdos I'm afraid of going <laughs> 
Oh, no, it's there must be something in the water. water. It would have been so much better if we were like swimming. <laughs> But we weren't even singing out loud. Yeah, we, we were, were just the words, but with full enthusiasm. So much passion. To be fair, it was it was anything to get like anything our minds get away from the, the pain in our legs. Uh, would you like another question? Yeah. Susan has asked. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Before we go on, actually, if you had to pick between Peter Capaldi and Ed Sheeran, who would you pick? Peter Capaldi. Why? He's Scottish and grumpy, and I like him. But that's I just... bet he can sing too. But he's he like can play guitar. He's an. He's actor. been in a band. Flip. Yes, of course he can sing. He can sing. He can play guitar, and he's an actor, and he's been the Doctor. So I mean, automatically that makes him cooler. Has Ed Sheeran ever been in Doctor Who? No, he's been in Game of Thrones though. I'd definitely be in Doctor Who for Game of Thrones. Yeah, maybe he wasn't given the option. Maybe that's just because I've I've never got into Game of Thrones. So that I is true. Care. But yeah, sorry, Susan. Susan asks, "How not do you Susan the dog?" Sorry, Susan from Texas. Who now lives in Miami. So yeah. Um not I hope all. that's not really like don't try and find her. <laughs> Susan, you'll always be Susan from Texas in my eyes. Yeah. I'm sorry. How do you make November special since it's kind of lacking in excitement? Forty five sleeps till Christmas, Susan. That's how you make it special. Okay. I'm just gonna reply to this real quick. Like November is just the lead up to December. Like, get yourself hyped, get an advent calendar for November. Um, and then just, like, November's just the build up to Christmas. You have everything set out, ready for the 1st of December, when you just Christmasify your house. Like, y you get the stuff out of the attic, you sort of, you start making lists, you start checking them twice, you start deciding who's <laughs> not, oh, Santa, <laughs> oh. No, you get, you, you start organising Christmas, because, like, at the minute, we're sort of having debates as to what colour we're going to do the tree this year. Yeah, that's when you start doing... Um, Christmas admin, I suppose. Yeah. Christmas preparation plans. But also, I think you could... I mean, Americans, you have Thanksgiving. That's at the end of November, right? Yeah, and Black Friday and stuff. But, like, who does that? And, I mean, that's fine. Thanksgiving is exciting. You can have your family. Maybe we should have a wee holiday in the middle of November to sort of break it up between Halloween and Christmas. I think I think January, February time you should have a wee holiday. Like, I know there's Valentine's Day, but, like... Valentine's Day is kind of dull. Who wants that? Yeah. Like, there should definitely be, like, a wee post-Christmas party. Yeah. Style day. And then you have Easter, and then... I mean, you have the summer. But then people who work... Don't, don't have summer. summer. So they should have a wee holiday in June, July. July yeah. Um, but yeah, in answer to your question, Susan, get an advent calendar for the month of November. Get started on your Christmas admin. Don't let yourself go mad. You don't want to get too excited too soon. Like, ration everything. Like, ration yourself to three Christmas songs a day. Make those bangers. If you want to listen to Christmas music yeah. that early, I know that some people want to leave it to December, like me. But I also accept that some people listen to Christmas music all year round. Like me. And other people think, you know, after Thanksgiving or whatever, after Halloween, whatever. Um, but yeah. Like, honestly, I'm good with Christmas music all year round. Like, provided you're not going to blast it in other people's ears. Like, yeah. I mean... You do you. November could be the time when you start buying your presents because I always find that quite exciting and I think if you leave it too late it gets stressful yeah so maybe you, November you start panicking like especially if you're ordering it online you're like is it gonna arrive on time yeah so maybe November should be the present buying period yeah and then December is just fully decking the halls not punching them uh decorating the halls and, and the bedrooms. And the bedrooms and the and kitchen the and rooms. the living room, the sitting room, the dining room. But I mean, really, if you want to, your garden. I'm not a huge fan of outside decorating, simply because of the effort that is needed. Are you talking about those lights we had to put up last year and they stayed up till, like, end of January? I thought they looked really nice. I think we should have kept them up all year round. Yeah. But, each to their own. What can you do? There's one more question from Les, unless there's another question. No. Les, the legend. Some deep thinking. Well, just underground moles 
Do they have a special latrine tunnel or do they are they just dirty Hallians? <laughs> I love these questions. <laughs> um so do do moles have a, a toilet tunnel? A toilet tunnel? Yeah. Like a latrine? Yeah. What if they just put their poops above ground? Like they just dig a hole up and they just sort of throw it out? Yeah, or else just, you know, wiggle their butt up through there. Oh, okay, okay. Like wiggle out? Yeah. Like it brings a whole new thing to whack a mole. Uh, like they it also stick their heads up, they oh. stick their mole hills. Maybe mole yeah. hills are just poo hills. Yeah. That. Why are moles in your face called moles? Because. I suppose because they're usually dark and they look like mole hills. So that you're just like, you yeah, solved that's it. A mole. You solved it. So, mole has lost all meaning. I so don't... we think those little underground creatures, they don't have a toilet tunnel. They stick their bums up through the ground and poop that way. Yep. They fight against gravity. I mean, you know, they can stick it up and then to the side. All right, okay. <laughs> Fair play, moles. Fair I mean, play. otherwise it'll just... Like, gravity takes over and it just goes back in. <laughs> I think we need to move on here. <laughs> we might be on the radio tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we might be on the radio tomorrow for triathlon things. Um, so that's exciting. Uh, going into... Radio all no radio foil. I never said radio Ulster. BBC Radio Foil. <laughs> That's not it. What do they do? Radio Foil. <laughs> that was an old one. I don't know. I think they just go. It's just the wee, the drum beat, and then it goes ba ba da ba da boop boop. This is BBC Radio Foil. Yeah. I really like the guy who does the voice thing for that though, because he always sounds so enthusiastic. Yeah. Like, it's the Mark Patterson show. It's like, okay. Do they just get someone to do it, or is it wonder is it like a producer or something? I think it's just someone. Hey, you have a great voice. You want to come on and just sort of record wee things? If I had to pick someone to do my radio show voice, it would be uh, podcaster post Sarah. Yeah, she has a lovely voice. And I think it would just be really like, you're listening to Judith. <laughs> I think it would be really calming. I think it would be really nice. And then I would come on and just be screaming. But I mean, like, but they just I think they would. I think it would work better if they feeded you in. It would it, be like the calm before the storm. Yeah. I'm just a whirlwind. 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 Oh, that's more than eight seconds. We could be Sorry. done for copy right now. A lot of people on YouTube are being done for copy. Right? No, not copyright. I don't know. They're losing their accounts anyway. Why? On YouTube. Um, you literally just said you don't know. And I was like, why? <laughs> <laughs> Lads, do you know what's really underrated? Tortilla wraps. Maps. No, tortilla wraps. <laughs> I don't get it. You're just <laughs> what's underrated? Tortillas. Naps. <laughs> Tortilla. Naps. <laughs> I'm just say it again, because all I'm really getting here is just naps. Okay, <laughs> I can't stop. <laughs> <coughs> oh, she's gonna do the whole cough and laugh and I'm fine. And and my pillow is really wet now because my hair is really wet and it's just soaking in. It's really gross. So yeah, why are naps underrated? <laughs> <laughs> naps are underrated because you just. I I feel like as adults we don't nap enough. But you know what food is really underrated? Nap naps. Tortilla wraps with Tortilla just naps. ham in it. And you put some ham in it, and you put it in the microwave, zap it for about 20 seconds, and then you, you zap it. Then you roll it up and you just eat it. Oh, so good, lads. But also, you could do a wee boiled egg in there, or, or egg in a cup, which is just like, it's like, you can, you can add milk if you want to your scrambled egg, but 
I just mix up an egg and then microwave it for a wee bit and then take out and mix it and then microwave it a wee bit more and then it's cooked and then you put it in the wrap and it's nice if you put some ham on it some spicy sauce and then you wrap it up and you eat it and it's ham and egg ham and egg wrap and it's just lads I'm really into wrap right now thanks good night good night um yeah I don't know <laughs> I mean what's the difference between a wrap and a burrito uh, a wrap is open at one end and a burrito is closed at both ends. I know, but as or does a burrito take... a burrito has rice in it? Oh, maybe I was gonna say like it can't be that a burrito is closed because once you're halfway through a burrito, yeah, what's the difference? Yeah, I think a burrito has rice in it, or maybe it's where they originate. Just like you know the way there's like chicken curry and then like are chicken curry and chicken tikka from like the same place. I th- I think curry is like curry's like a type of dish if that makes sense like we call it chicken curry but it's not like you have to have a specific type of curry like madras curry yeah or vindaloo or whatever that's a type of curry all right okay so we just kind of generalize it yeah so then it's tikka curry I think I'm pretty sure it's a I don't know if it's a curry I think it is yeah tikka, t- tikka masala yeah or maybe that's a type of masala. I, don't I have know what no masala idea. Is. No, I idea. don't speak enough. I'm, I'm going to be really offensive enough. here and say Indian. But I'm sorry if it's not. Like it could be Chinese or Vietnamese. I don't know. Hold on. I'm going to Google what the difference is between a wrap and a burrito. Okay. It's cold. Uh, it is chilly today. We bathed Sue and I felt really bad because it was cold but at the same time like she was getting baths so she was warm and now she's inside in the warm to dry a bit and I feel bad because she's going to have to go outside into the cold. Oh Susan I'm sorry. Okay right so a burrito is a Mexican dish typically containing a tortilla wrap around savoury contents that also include meat and rice. So a burrito is a wrap but a wrap isn't necessarily a burrito. I'm opening the page to learn more. Does that mean all burritos are wrapped? But I'm not. <laughs> Can you tell what's on my mind right now? So all burritos are wraps, but not all wraps are burritos. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nice. I can't actually find the answer now. Uh. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Um... A wrap isn't necessarily a burrito. You can have all sorts of wraps that don't fall under the burrito definition because they do not meet the main criteria, i.e. they are not a traditional Mexican food. Uh, this person's very, I believe very strongly that we should always be very respectful to other countries, making sure that we respect the word burrito and the Mexican food as a whole. Um, yeah, so that doesn't really answer our question. What was the other one? Difference between curry and masala? between curry and masala. Other people have asked this question too. That's good. Uh, Yeah. Chicken masala. Right. Masala is literally spice or spices uh, used. It is used to denote either a single spice or a mixture of spices. For example, like Oh, I don't even know. Whatever. Uh, the term masala is also used to denote a spice mix, e.g. chicken masala, chana, meat masala, whatever. In restaurants, masala is used as a suffix. Uh, Indian dishes, right, so masala is indeed Indian. Uh, let's see, where do we talk about curry? Curry can be a high can preparation. I don't actually know. Something uh. about kebabs. There is... No uniform recipe for either of the terms masala or curry. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, so chicken masala on a menu card in a restaurant could mean chicken curry because there's no recipe, like no set recipe that mm. means different things. Um, but they can have different, sp- I don't, basically call it whatever you want. <laughs> Curry and if you're, whatever, yeah. if you're at a restaurant, just take a gamble. Risk it. And try something new. Yeah. Dare to be different. Um, or ask the chef uh, what 
ingredients are in it or how spicy it is. I don't know. Um, so that was not very educational, ed- educational at all, but I tried my best for you lads. And I hope you appreciate it. Here, see if you ever need quick money. Uh-huh. Just pull out a tooth. Why? Wait for the tooth fairy. Ah, oh, okay. If you pull out all your teeth, you'll get you more money. Or you could sell a kidney. Yeah, but put your tooth under a pillow for the tooth fairy is much more faster. Um, yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Spot on. Lads, it's stew season. We got <sighs> stew. And I only got, like, two bowlfuls of it. And then mum was like, oh, no, it's out of date. And I was like, oh, sad. But then it turned out I could have had more because we had Sunday dinner, which is like a roast. And I was like, can I have stew instead? And mum was like, no, but I cooked this roast. And I was like, well, you didn't. Daddy did, but okay. So then I had a roast and I could have had stew for two meals in a row. Lunch and dinner. But I didn't. The end. Oh, it's raining. I can hear the rain pitter pattering on my window. It could be snow. Or sleet. It. It's it. snowed in Wales. Wales is quite close to us. It's not really. Wales is quite close to Belfast. We're on the other side. I still like to think that Wales are my best pals. I mean, Wales is in the country, not Wales is in the animal. The animal. I mean, Wales, the animal, are still good creatures. Wales. Wheels. 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 And wheels. And wheels. 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 My tummy's making some rare noises. I don't think it's okay. I <laughs> think you're gonna be like, I need to go bathroom. <laughs> I gotta go pee. I don't know why, but I've currently got the image of my head and it's like a plug hole. But all around the outside, it's like the inside of, like, not the inside of your teeth, but like, your teeth all in a circle. And it's just weirding me out. But I can't stop thinking about it. Is that not what the shark is like in James and the Giant Peach? Oh, maybe. Here, James and the Giant Peach, right. You know the way they turn into cartoons and then the seagulls and every, like everything just looks fake. Why? I have never understood why they had to become ca- cartoons. To fly in the peach, and why the shark was a machine. Like, could they not have done it as. I know it would have been harder, but as people. Or could they not have made the shark look a wee bit more realistic? I mean, no, because, like, spiders don't talk in real life. No, I know, but. I mean. People can't fly, and peaches don't grow to be huge. Like... It's it just really annoyed me about that movie. I don't even think... The shark isn't even real, is it? Like, it's... Like, you not... I know it's not real because it's like a cartoon, but like, the shark's not even a real shark. Yeah, that's what I mean. Why like, is it's it a not... robot. Yeah, but why is it a robot? Why did they use a robot shark? Do they not use that to get rid of the beach? Would mean to get rid of the peach? Like to eat it? I don't think so. I need to watch this movie again, but I don't like how they didn't use a real, realistic looking shark. They definitely should have just used the real boy as well for the full thing. I'm like, I suppose maybe they could do that now, but like, CG animate and the characters. Yeah. Like Mr. Grasshopper and whatever you call it. See the boy that was in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory then too? Yeah. No way. That kid got everything. Jaya Peach, Chocolate Factory. <laughs> he's been in other things too, but I can't think what they what he's, yeah. what he's been in. Um, he just touched my leg. I didn't mean to. My hand fell off my leg. This podcast has been an absolute nightmare. <laughs> it's, it's a typical <laughs> sleepy podcast. <laughs> I'm just going to check to see if we have any other questions or any other responses. I think I just pulled the charger out of my phone. I did. I Sorry if you hear this. Oh, I pulled it out of the app. I didn't pull it out of my phone. I pulled it out of the actual charger. Uh-huh. So. 
There we go. That's us. That's us now. That's us now. But um, yeah. If we don't have any other questions, I think we could just wrap it up. Yeah. There's no other. Nothing else to say really. Yeah. Um. But hopefully we'll be back next week with a wee podcast. Hopefully we'll have actual things to say. Yeah. Rather than just talking complete and utter nonsense. Yeah. Um. However, I hope you've enjoyed it anyway. Get in touch, as always, on Twitter at skit underscore twins and same on Instagram. Are yep. we skit underscore twins on Instagram? Yep. We are also the fit... No, the... Underscore, underscore fit, fit dot twins. twins. Uh, but if you find the Skit Twins account, you'll find us. Um, and we're also on Facebook and YouTube. Just search the Skit Twins. And we're on email skit.twins at gmail.com is definitely gmail yeah yep okay cool thank you very much for listening thank you uh take care be good i hope you have had fun and been safe get yourself an advent calendar for november continue to be safe and be good and make good choices and and be kind and be kind to other people because that's really important and also you should also try and remember to moisturise more, especially because it is getting wintry and cold. So you should moisturise more often. Chloe, are you going to press stop or not? Because you're just kind of... I was going to give them some advice too, but you just oh, started talking. Sorry. I was going to say to stay hydrated. And if they can be anything, be kind. You already said be kind. Uh, I'm just saying it again. You shouldn't repeat yourself. I will not repeat myself. I've said it before I and will... I'll say it again. Do not repeat yourself. Did I stop it? I did not. <laughs>